though. Yay! Let's just pick that then. Besides, I seem to always gravitate towards this whenever it comes to a B-class dirt race. It just always seems to be this particular Evo. Hmm, nice, uh, nice mix of cars. I'll give it that. So, I didn't actually check all of the circuits that are on this. There's a regalia on the AI team. Lovely. <laughs> okay. Definitely have a nice mix of cars. A couple of Nissan, Subaru, Toyota, a couple of Lancers against, again, a very wide range of stuff. But the, um, the regalia is definitely something that's a bit of a standout as a little, um, odd of a choice. Good, good job, AI, I guess. Seriously? Regalia? Regalia. Whatever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Regalia. Alright, let's get going. Okay, someone actually had a good launch there. Let them slip through and let them be the first ones to carve their way through the AIs. Mate. Less of the, uh, less of the panel rubbing, please. Whoa, that's... That's a very slidey Nissan in front of me. So yeah, well, the Lancer doesn't exactly get away. It then pulls away when it does get... <laughs> yeah, not the great... Not a great launch, but... Oh, boy, if I didn't just size my way through the field. It's always the thing with this. I always have to remember this thing is not great at the launches, but really has some top speed. Oh, did someone miss a checkpoint? Someone's a little, um... That's a little, little bit of salt, I think, there. Like, that's more than a bit of salt. They seem to... Uh, it, maybe you should um, get your finger off of your D-pad and more onto your steering. Oh, God, I'm going to mute. <sighs> oh, missed the snowman, damn it. I've already failed in my quest, which is always to, uh, which is always to run over this time. Oh my god, will this thing ever shut the fuck up? Like, seriously, holy shit. Oh my god, shut up. Seriously, shut up. Holy crap. They're sending a message and there's just, you know, spamming us for freaking an entire hour, oh my god, okay, seriously. <sighs> I didn't think I'd have to, I'd be resorting to the angry messages already, but yeah, it's gonna happen. Mostly because someone needs to be told to shut the actual fuck up. Holy crap. In all of this, I've just been, you know, casually driving away, and suddenly it's like, oh, yeah, look, here's, um, yeah, there, that was, I did nothing. I literally, I just drove away, and it's the checker flag, which I actually need to go find and press. Hey, take the checker flag! <laughs> oh, that was a mile. Actually, well, kilometer. Holy God, are they, when are they going to finish? Now, excuse me, I need to go uh, send someone a message to tell them to shut the actual fuck up. And the main thing is, I didn't actually, like, really pay any attention to what the other two things were. Oh, Mortimer Garden Scrap. Okay, well, this isn't so bad. It's not the... Eh. Okay, Mortimer Garden Scramble should be alright. I love how I start at the back. I was gonna say, I didn't... I did not pay any sort of attention as to what the other two races were on this. So it's, um... It's gonna be fun. And the question, I suppose you know, the other question is, do I actually get to take out Top Gear Production Office? I don't, considering I started at the back, probably not. Probably not. Because by the time I get up there, it'll probably already be taken out. Yeah, case in point. And make sure we don't miss the checks while going through here. It is very possible. If we get a little too greedy in places, or, you know, someone like a certain Subaru is... <laughs> Has no idea of where to turn. What are you guys doing? Oh, for God's sake. Oh, I'm getting regalia I'm getting boxed in by the feckin' regalia. Of course, it didn't also help that we had a... We have a Subaru here that apparently doesn't know what brakes are. 
Also, is that a why is that an AI with brought a 350Z or a 370Z? <laughs> Wait, what? AI, please, your car choice is a little concerning at times. And yeah, that um, that Subaru really, really does not want to use the brakes. Wanna roll ride everywhere. Now concern is to my main other or not only concern, but conundrum is whether Especially in B class, is it worth the um Jesus Christ, you guys are super slow. Is it worth attempting to take the or stay on the off-road section down there, or do I do we stay on the road? Because I'm not sure these things necessarily have the power. That they may get slowed down by the snowdrifts by being in the off-road section, because it is hella snowy out there on the outside. Was it come up to? Ooh. Well, they went out way wide. Eat all of the fence, why don't you? Took a lot of speed on the way in. Just eat all that fence. Also, eat the signs, why don't you? So, yeah, that's the bit. I wonder. I just wonder. You get? Do you get more traction, more grip by being on the on the snow-covered road than you do by? than you do by being on the... just by going off-road there. Oh, you nearly missed that. You so very nearly missed that. Cutting in a little close on the inside. And they're already resorting to spamming again. <sighs> really should be a bit of a cooldown on that, you know, kind of like in Rocket League. Rocket League always has has those that chat cooldown if you start spamming it too much. Maybe that should happen in Forza as well. Now, let's just casually drive away to the checkered flag again. Probably having a much smoother drive than the rest of the team despite starting from the back. <laughs> Doesn't matter where you start me on the grid, I'm gonna come out of the I'm gonna come out on top. It seems. And we end with the amber. Oh god, okay. <laughs> okay, these things are just going from super fast to wow, okay. That's uh that's a range, okay. Start with a pretty nice casual, just almost straight drive, then go to something that's a tiny bit twisty up in the Warburg Gardens, and then go for the super twist. At Ambleside. The one place where I know for a fact the Lancer does not do well at all. Like, yeah. So the um, the quest for the triple checker has already ended. Also, GPU is getting rammed here. Why is that? I know they put an update out for this game, like, uh, a couple of days ago. They already added the, the, seri the next series cars, like, in an update on... From that happened a couple days ago. Try not to miss the check. They like turn up the amount of graphics the game uses because yeah, I'm like maxed out right now. In fact, so maxed that the the stream is FPS lagging in places. I'll just cut to the inside. Thank you very much because you don't need to take that much on it. Okay, mace. There's driving, and then there's being a douche. Yeah, enjoy that wall, why don't you? There are some people who just can't control their cars, or, like, send them through corners normally. They just have to constantly be drifting around almost every single corner, and using every single wall. Whereas if you just drive, you know, normally, with some decent braking, and all that, you'll, um, you know, you'll make it round. Even though, I, even though I did say at the start, I was gonna sworn that this, you know, this sort of track is the one that's not great for this Lancer, because, um, you know, this Lancer's kind of more geared for higher speeds than lower speed stuff, and that's what the Ambleside Scramble really is. It's a lot of low speed, 
harsh turns and all that. And yes, once again, I'm leading the way. I don't understand this. Also, there's the Supra. <laughs> Ooh, I turned in way too early for that. I got lucky. I turned in way too early for the left-hander and got incredibly lucky I didn't miss. Too busy trying to showcase with a, you know, casual little celebratory horn as I went past and nearly missed the entire thing. Ooh, dear, that was, uh... Okay. No more showing off. Just, just drive... Drive to the checkered flag. Drive to a triple checkered flag that I was not expecting. In any way, shape, or form. And yet, I won it. Hey, takes the checkered flag! And I didn't even require any quick chat spamming. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Oh, wow, okay. A lot of cars did not like the Amblesite Scramble. We had four finishers. And that includes... Four finishers, which is only three humans and one AI. Wow. They did not like the Ambleside Scramble. Did they... Is this another case of people did not pay attention to the discipline when they were signing up? Like, even if you don't pay attention to us on the... Even if you, even if you don't go to the event start and actually look at the... Look at the events that are there, you can easily see it from the colour of the line it draws on the map when you hover over it. Or even when you start to join and it gives you... It gives you the colour of the discipline in the Welcome To section, where the title is. Like, if you've been playing the game this long and you still haven't figured that out right now, by now... Oh dear. 